I'm Seth Black Diamond and you're watching Milkshakes and Opera, where I sit down with people living the dream with Opera Tampa and get the scoop on an upcoming production. Today I'm talking with Andrew Bissark, the music director for the Eugene Opera and our guest conductor for Birdie's Macbeth. Hi. Hi Seth, it's really great to talk to you. So in Macbeth, there's a rumor that the bloodier the opera, the more people like it. Uh -huh. Is that true? It is, and you know, opera is never about happy things. Gener there are very few that are about happy yeah. things, and and certainly Macbeth fills that bill. But what's kind of interesting is is that there was a long period where this opera wasn't done. You know, Verdi's three yeah. big, most popular operas were done a lot more regularly, and it's so exciting to do this piece because the original Shakespeare play is so exciting, and Verdi did a great job of making the the opera as exciting as going to see the original. Play. For Lady Macbeth, is she actually a bad person or is she really just misunderstood? I don't know. I think that she is somebody that has a lot of ambition to power and ambition to power can do bad things to people. It can really corrupt them. So maybe she doesn't start out her life as a bad and evil person, but by the time uh, we were just rehearsing the, the Act 3 Vengeance duet, by the time that they decide to uh, kill Macduff, Boy, it's neither of them are really good people anymore. And she certainly does the 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 big work of taking Macbeth down that road as well. You know, he's he's a little bit more reticent initially, but she has no problems uh, uh, pursuing her power agenda. Oh, wow. So. Okay. Um, also, so I'm in Macbeth and I got all my blocking. What am I to expect during the tech rehearsals, the shows? Well, the one thing is, is if you've never been on stage with a Verdi orchestra in the pit, it's just loud and fantastic. And I bet the first time you hear it, you're just going to go out of your mind. It's just so exciting. And the orchestra here is so wonderful that the, they'll really play it very well. Um, so I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. One thing that does happen in tech is it's a lot of hurry up and wait, like we like to say, that you, you know, you'll go stand on stage and then wait while they fix some light somewhere and you just for a while. But it's all part of the theatrical process. Here we have to work really fast because we've got a very short tech schedule as we say and so you're gonna uh, certainly need to be on top of it but you did such a great job last night that I know you're gonna be terrific so. So at the beginning of your career did you ever think you were gonna do Verdi's Macbeth since everyone said it's really hard to produce? No I never did. I, I thought it was one of those pieces that I would know only from on the off chance seeing it live or hearing it on recording or watching an old video of it because frankly it is not all that frequently produced but I, I couldn't be more thrilled that I get the chance to finally do it you know and I grew up I know that you like musical theater I, I, grew, I, I, I grew up in musical theater as a performer on stage while I was studying piano so theatricality has always really appealed to me because I feel it's really part of me and this music is certainly really theatrical so it's just a blast to conduct. And finally, if opera was a milkshake, what flavor would it be? Well, if we're talking about this opera, I think chocolate raspberry because you've got the richness of the chocolate which is akin to the music and the raspberry which is that bloody red color which is perfect <laughs> for the piece. Thank you for teaching us about Macbeth which is being performed April 13th through 15th. It's great to talk to you. Let's have a sip of our milkshakes. <laughs>